go. You're free. You are free. Look at you, baby. There, you're going you're into a new life right. now. He was, um, he was, he was amazing. This was my first experience adopting a senior dog. I had no idea that it was like a thing, that it, like, my world was so small back then. I was just like, somebody's got to adopt this dog, you know, I, 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 he needs a home, he, he needs a mommy, he needs, and my heart was just so open. My heart was just so open, and he just looked so broken. He looked so broken. He was the youngest 15-year-old dog. He got me up every morning. We used to go on runs. I, and I was not like a runner. I didn't expect this. And he was like running me. And I said, boy, I'm gonna get in shape. Whenever I would take him to the vet, they were like, now he's 16? And then they said, now he's 17? People would say, you know, it was your love that kept him alive. No matter what background you come from, his resiliency, like he taught me you can overcome that. He was an overcomer. And, and the forgiveness, like dogs can teach us so much about their ability to forgive and to forget and, and to love, their capacity to love. And that kind of did him in. Like he, he became more of a house dog. We, we couldn't take him on walks anymore because we never knew. Um, I was afraid to have him cross the street because if he, if he had to lay down, you, you know, if he lay down and then we were in the middle of the street, the cars were coming. In the end, what really got him was the arthritis. He just couldn't, he couldn't get up on his own. He needed full assist to get up. Um, get up, walk. I would come out of the, the bedroom and he wasn't here and I didn't have anything to do. Like I was so used to, he was my world, my world. I, every single waking hour and moment was focused on him. I felt lost. I, I was lost. I am telling you it was divine intervention and Bear totally had a hand in this. Monday night, he, he's showing me a picture of Goldie, and I, I took the phone out of his hand, and I said, would you let me read it, please? And, it, and there it says, meet Goldie, chained up for eight years. I firmly believe that he knew that there was another dog with the same story, with the same need. I drove there right after school. I just went, my car just like kind of went there. My car just went. And I was like, I'm here to meet Goldie. I was drowning. I was drowning and she saved me. We think that we pick our, our dogs, our pets, but I think that they really pick us. They know that we need them and not the other way around. Open your heart and open, open your home to adopting a senior dog because they really show you so much unconditional love.
and so much forgiveness and they will give you so much back even if you only have one week with them or if you're blessed enough to have them for a year or two years like I had with Bear your life will be forever changed I'm forever changed they have so much love to give so much love to give